Audio Jungle. Hi, today we are discuss about the Talib literature. This is a theory and given by Sharan Kumar Lambali. Firstly, I am going to tell you about the Sharan Kumar Lambali. Sharan Kumar Lambali, born 4th June 9, 1956, is a Marathi language author, poet and literary critic. He has penned more than 40 books, but it is best known for his autobiography, Akarmashi. Akarmashi is a translate in a several other Indian language and English. English. The English translation is published by the Oxford University Press with the title The Outcast. His critical work toward an aesthetic of Dalit literature published in 2004 is considered amongst the most important work on Dalit literature. If you think ki what is Akarmashi, so Akarmashi is a uh, autobiography written by uh, written by Shan Kumar Lambale. The word Akarmashi is a Marathi word which means a person whose birth in intelligent or one who is an outcast, impure, incomplete. Mahal community call him Akarmashi because his father is a high caste man and the high caste people call him an untouchable because he is Mahar. The main thing is that Akarmashi is all about the uh, all about the outcast people based on his life, his uh, struggle, his untouch untouchable, uh, this kind of uh, uh, untouchable ka jo concept hai wo ma Marathi make Mohar community hoti hai waha pe uh, usko uh, akarmashi bolte hai akarmashi is us mahar jitne community mahar mein aate hai unko bolte hai to us pe inho ne ek autobiography likhi hai ki unho ne apni life mein is untouchability ko kaise suffer kiya kaise suffering kiya kaise survive kiya ki sab unho ne bataya hai akarmashi autobiography mein okay now hum baat karte hai dalit uh, literature ke baare mein uh, Akarmashi English translator is a published by critical work towards of uh, aesthetic of Dalit literature. Firstly, we will talk about that Dalit literature jo hai, usme main theme jo hai, wo hai kya? So, Dalit literature is a literature written by Dalit about their leaves. Dalit literature emerged uh, in the 1960 is a Marathi language and it soon appeared in Bangla, Hindi, Canada, Punjabi, Sindhi, Tamil language through narratives such as a poem, short story and autobiography which stood out of due to the, their stories for portrayal of literary reality and the Dalit political scene. Dalit literature denounced the then prevailing portrayal of his by life main strip Marathi literature. Okay. Dalit literature is now recognized real all over the world, first written in Marathi and later in other original language, being translated widely in India and abroad. A writer belongs to different castes and sub -caste. The Dalits writes want to say something. This re rejections pro protest uh, against why the B express his language. जो दलित जो दलित राइटर्स हैं जो दलित के बारे में लिखते हैं उन्होंने इस पे प्रोटेस्ट कर दिया था कि जो आ, हमारी जो लैंग्वेज है मतलब जैसे अग, कोई दलित लिटरेचर है इसका मतलब यही है कि जो दलित है जैसे कि अगर हम किसी चीज के बारे में लिख रहे हैं अगर अगर हम कोई चीज सीख रहे हैं मान लीजिए हम उसको प्रैक्टिकल वे में ना सिर्फ थ्योरी वे में सीखते हैं तो हम जो पढ़ेंगे हमें सिर्फ वही पता होगा लेकिन अगर उस चीज की हम प्रैक्टिकल करते हैं जैसे स्विमिंग हो गया अगर हम स्विमिंग का प्रैक्टिकल वे देखें तो हम उसके बारे में जो इंस्ट्रक्शंस दिए हैं उसको पढ़ेंगे हमें सिर्फ उतना ही पता होगा लेकिन जब तक हम स्विमिंग खुद करेंगे नहीं तब तक हमें नहीं पता होगा कि उसमें क्या-क्या चीजें हैं क्या-क्या हर्डल हैं क्या-क्या प्रॉब्लम्स हैं क्या-क्या मिस्टेक्स हैं हम उसको नहीं जान सकते वैसे ही दलित लिटरेचर में जो दलित राइटर हैं जब वो दलित कम्युनिटी से बिलोंग नहीं करते हैं तो वो दलित लिटरेचर को लिख नहीं सकते हैं वो लिखेंगे तो सिर्फ बाहरी चीजों को देख के जब तक वो उस कम्युनिटी में खुद नहीं रहेंगे खुद उन चीजों को एक्सपीरियंस नहीं करेंगे 
तब तक वो जान नहीं सकते हैं कि वॉट इज दलित वॉट इज द अनटचबिलिटी वॉट इज द दलित पीपल ओके दलित एस्थेटिक अंडर द इम्प्रेशन ऑफ एस्थेटिक द अपर कास्ट राइटर हैव हैव रियलिटी विच इज डी मानिटेटेड बाई इमेजिनेशन दलित राइटर हैव प्रजेंट फेथफुली दलित लाइफ एंड दलित कल्चर इज देअर फ्रीडम्स वही बात है कि जो दलित एस्थेटिक हैं वो अप ऊपर से देख के या फिर दलित के बारे में जो जानते हैं सिर्फ वही लिख पाएंगे लेकिन जो दलित होंगे अगर वो लिखेंगे तो वो अच्छे से दलित कल्चर को दलित लाइफ को रिटर्न फॉर्म में लिख सकते हैं एक कोर्ट से कि ह्यूमन बीइंग एंड ह्यूमैनिटी इज द बेस ऑन दलित लिटरेचर दलित बुद्धिस्ट मोमेंट ऑल्सो नोन एज द नाउ बुद्धिस्ट मोमेंट एज अ सोशियो पोलिटिकल मोमेंट बाई द दलित एंड इन इंडिया स्टार्टेड बाई बी आर अम्बेडकर भीम राव अम्बेडकर जो स्टार्टिंग हुआ था दलित लिटरेचर का वो भीम राव अम्बेडकर से हुआ था आप सब बहुत अच्छे से जानते हैं उन्होंने ही प्रोटेस्ट किया था कि हमें इक्वालिटी प्रदान होनी चाहिए दलित को भी इक्वालिटी मिलनी चाहिए दलित इज़ अ टर्म यूज टू एड्रेस अ पर्सन बिलोंगिंग टू द लोएस्ट कास्ट वो जो एक लोएस्ट कास्ट से बिलोंग करते हैं लोग उन्हें दलित टर्म में यूज करते हैं टूअर्स एन अस्थेटिक एंड दलित लिटरेचर सर आर द ओपिनियन ऑफ दलित दलित लिटरेचर मस्ट बी इन्वॉल्व सटिकल और एज अ लिटरेचर एज द इज हाउ द रीडर इज गोइंग टू प्रिस्क्राइब इट जो दलित लिटरेचर है अगर कोई पढ़ रहा है रीडर है अगर उसको रीड कर रहा है तो वो कैसे प्रस्क्राइब करेगा कि व्हाट इज दलित लिटरेचर उसमें जो टर्म्स हैं वो क्लियर होने चाहिए जो दलित लिटरेचर हैं उसमें जो जो कम्युनिटी है जो वर्ड्स हैं वो एकदम क्लियर होने चाहिए दैट्स वाई लम्बाले इज अपोज अपोज टू हेज व्यू ऑफ व्यू ऑफ सरन Uh, view of critic as a feels that middle class criticism can never never do justice to dalit literature which is the literature of the oppressed and the discriminations fashions of the society a major debate which once of of wild discussions dalit literature is a center around the mono, monopoly of dalit writer when it's come to penning dalit literature the sarva critics such as the kavi such as a kavi anil anil uh, anil or of the opinion that dalit dalit literature can be written by anyone through the power of imagination that can evisions that can evisions the suffering of dalit and give is a literature experience agar dalit literature ko koi as a imagination image इमेजिन कर कर के लिख रहा है उससे और जो उस दलित लिटरेचर दो दलित कम्युनिटी से बिलोंग करता है वो लिखेगा तो उन दोनों के वर्ड्स में कल्चर में और उनकी सोच में बहुत ही डिफरेंस होगा वो तब पता चलेगा जब एक अच्छा रीडर उसको रीड करके जस्टिफाई करे लिम्बाले ओपन्स दैट इज द इम्पॉसिबल फॉर अ नॉन दलित टू राइट द लिटरेचर दलित लिटरेचर एज द Dalit literature is produce of consternations that is a shape by the live live experiences of dalit uh, appeared by their pain suffering feeling rebelling and anger limbali ka jo opinion hai wo kehte hain ki ye impossible hai ki jo non dalit ho writer ho wo dalit literature likhe to wo uske jo suffering hai jo pain hai jo feeling hai jo rebelling hai jo anger hai जो उस दलित कम्युनिटी में रह के उसको सफ़र करता है वो कभी भी नॉन दलित लिटरेचर एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर सकता है अ नॉन दलित कैन नॉट पॉसिबल इमेज ऑफ ऑल दीज कैन बी एबल टू राइट अथोटिक अथोटिक ऑन द दलित कोई भी नॉन दलित राइटर कभी भी इमेजिन uh, करके दलित लिटरेचर नहीं लिख सकता दिस इज अ इम्पॉसिबल दिस ओपिनियन इज ऑथर मेजर द डिबेट विच सर्वाइविंग द लिट क्रिटिसिजम इज अबाउट द एस्थेटिक स्टैंड अदर स्कूल ऑफ थ्रू एडवोकेट्स दैट्स इवेंट जेनरल ऑफ लिटरेचर इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एन अदर द लिट लिटरेचर इज यूनिक इज इज ऑफ सोशल अन 
unfleetment and the realistic portrayal of dalit experience of pain and suffering along with the voicing dalit's revealing of opposed to emphasis on beauty pleasure it is a suggest that dalit literature being a revealing from the literature from the literature does not author the traditional prayed feigning of poetry in the marathi language emphasis in the port of beauty factor of literature due to the which pleasure is pleasure is cited as the foremost aesthetic value pleasure is said to the native to marathi sarva sarva literature well pain is said belong to dalit literature due to the belonging or to the lower caste dalit literature is often occurs by the arousing feeling of pain suffering suffering anger in the real in the reader wears non non revolutionary literature across feeling such as the happiness and the lights overall dalit literature is a painted in a negative picture when it's come to the aesthetic evolution as it is a cause of the portraying only grief and suffering it is a said to not providing happiness as the literature of upper and middle class does however what what need to be considered is that the feeling of pain and suffering are the primary feeling that a piece of dalit literature can evoke as it is a social documents of rebelling is designed for a social unliftment of dalit and hence pleasure and beauty are not as chief consideration considerations it is a well known for facts that writer gain their share of popularity through reader the relationship between writer and reader decide the fate of a book the same can apply to dalit literature most of the dalit writers derive their impressions from dr bhim rao ambedkar he has become a, become a cult figure in the field of the literature the dalit literature but uh, lit, dalit aesthetic can only approach when a dalit writer suggest in a playing playing dalit considerations among the reader a dalit writer's main intention as the uh, intention is to uniform inform the ex, expose the evil practice but shape india but shape indian society and they right to order to the sing, uh, order to throw a light can be problems of the society there are four main standard of dalit literature aesthetic must be motivated by their experience aesthetic must be socialize their experience and uh, artistic experience must be close providence bound boundaries uh, aesthetics artistic uh, experience must seem relevant to be the all time when it's come to the dalit aesthetic one one cannot really one pleasure giving beauty and say dalit literatures are dalit literature but uh, but shoot and out load for peace and equality make it it's a revolutionary literature the pro drawing the mensuring of the work of art should not be only based on the pleasure giving sensations of overarching sense of social consciousness can have its own aesthetic value what is the aesthetic the branch of philosophy dealing with the nature as beauty art and the taste of with certain and appearance of beauty a scholar it is a field have defined aesthetic as a critical reflection on the culture and their nature in modern english the term aesthetic can also refer to the set of principle under, underlining the work of the particular art moment or theory can speak for example of a renaissance aesthetics okay this is all about the dalit literature i hope you will be understand very well thanks for watching this video question is which of the following according to the sharan kumar lambale is not part of dalit aesthetic answer lambale comment that the traditional value of satyam shivam and sundaram are not applicable 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 in context of dalit aesthetic as they add fabrications used to exploit common people this aesthetic eternity only benefits as the upper caste and has been formulated to the supreme and the lower ones